As most of the E46 M3 owners know, rod bearings is one of the big three services that these cars normally need, especially due to their age and higher mileage. This is a 150,000 mile example. This car is actually here to do a manual swap on, which is one of the services that we do, but we actually went through the car and gave some recommendations on some other servicing that the car may need based upon its history. And because the owner didn't know the past of what's been done with the rod bearings, he went ahead and opted for a rod bearing service. So we're gonna show you guys what the bearings look like on 150,000 mile s54 the bearings that we choose to go with and kind of show you the ins and outs of doing this service so Peyton's going to get started doing the rod bearings and we're going to take you through that So Peyton's halfway through the process. He's done three rod bearings and we've laid them out here on the table so you guys can see the wear. These are a cleavite bearing that we pulled out and we're assuming that one time in the lifetime of this car that the bearings have already been done, but we're actually seeing pretty solid wear with these. So this is a number six upper shell of the bearing and the uppers normally see a lot more wear than the lower. So here's the lower of the same cylinder, cylinder six, lower, upper. So this is pretty much what we see on most of the cars. It's not the worst. The worst is a rod knock. We wouldn't even be replacing the rod bearings. We were replacing the motor. But we've seen this worn all the way down to the copper. So we physically can see copper here, which actually gets rid of the whole point of the bearing and it's gonna lose its mechanical ability to do what it needs to do, which is help get the oil through these bearings to help everything move the way it's supposed to move inside the motor. We also have on the table the ARP hardware that we're using and then the assembly loop. So this is the lower casing of the rod. This is the rod bearing here and there's assembly grease, which is this crazy pink stuff on both the bottom and the top of the bearing ready to go in. And we have the ARP grease on the threads and right on the top of the cap. You don't put it on the laying part of the bolt when we're doing this. So this has a specific torque spec and then we work through each one replacing them. Now, a lot of people claim for various places that this is mileage dependent or use dependent or whatever you wanna say. And for me, with the experience that we've had from doing this from day one, we've really done this since the first year we've had the shop, over 16 years, there hasn't been a necessarily a rhyme or reason for the failure or the wear of the bearings. All of the motors are different. Every time we've assumed that a customer was gonna have really worn bearings because of the way they drove the vehicle or the way the car was modified. Maybe it's a supercharged S54 that has higher oil temperature. We would assume that those bearings would be the worst. And those have been some of the best. Based upon my experience and my my opinion this is something that needs to be done if you own one of those motors and if you own one of those cars and like i explained before with this particular e46 m3 it was not known if this was done so now moving forward with this guy and all the services that we're performing he's going to know that they were done we're going to have photos of the process and he's going to have a documentation that this was done which adds to the value for resale and also adds for peace of mind if he's going to keep the car forever so i'm going to let peyton get back in and finish the last three and we'll do a recap of everything that we did So Peyton has done the rod bearing part of this job and now he's gonna button up the car, he's gonna get the oil pan back on and then finish the rest of this manual swap. But I wanna take this opportunity to talk about the bearings, which are a question that I get all the time. People call and they wanna get the rod bearings done and they wanna know what bearings that we use. So for S65, S85 and for S54, 
The only bearings that we will install here at the shop are BE bearings. We're one of the original dealers for BE bearings, and I wanted to kind of talk about what makes them different from everything else that's on the market. And there's two main factors. There's the actual design and material of the bearing, and then there's the clearance of the bearing. So there's a lot of people out there that want to do factory bearings and say that they've been revised and that they're new, or they want to do coated factory bearings. Some of the newer updated bearings, I believe from 2010 and on, were made from tin and aluminum which are actually harder on the surfaces of the crank and the rods. And they also do not show traces in Blackstone analysis, which comes into play when you're measuring bearing wear. The BEs are a lead copper material, which we can track in Blackstone, and they're softer and easier on the material inside the motor, so they have less wear. They're also coated, but they're made to a specific clearance that takes into account the 1060 oil that these take. That takes into account the coating that's on the bearing. And for me, that was the best choice in running these bearings. So for us, BE was the first choice. And also for the actual material that we use for the connecting and for the hardware of the rods, we do ARP. The process is more exact. The quality of the ARP material is way better than factory. And it's actually less things to do, less processes to do, because the factory stuff has a torque spec, but it also has a degree spec that has to be done. So that's much easier to mess up and it doesn't give you a better outcome. The point of using aftermarket processes, the point of the choices that we make PSI is so when we do this job, it's better than it was before, whether you have 5,000 miles on your motor or 150,000 on the motor. So that's why we go with BE. They've never let us down. It's a great product and it's the only thing we will ever do here at the shop for those three motors. If you have a higher mileage S54, S65, S85, you have questions about the bearings, all of the stuff that I went over, give us a call. All of our information is down in the description of this video. We're here to help. We're here to educate and help you make the right decisions for the longevity of the M cars and to help you get the best solution and best result out of the rod bearing services. We'll see you guys next time.